Today we've got a cherry goza. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at Kirsch Goza from Victory Brewing. This is a new spring release from them, and it's 4.7% ABV, and it is a goza with cherries and cherry juice added to it. I just recently reviewed Jammer from Six Point, which is another goza. So if you're curious about what a goza is, I actually explained it a little bit in that video, so you can check that out. But yeah, really excited to try this one out. I enjoy gozas, and I can only imagine that cherries being added to it is going to make it even better. So I had a hard time finding this beer. Finally got my hands on a bottle. Let's go through the aroma, the taste, and then I'll give you my rating. So for the aroma on this one, the big thing I get is that tart cherry. A little bit of a salinity, that salt character. Some wheat bread as well, but not too much aroma on this one. It's just a really clean smelling beer. Cheers. Wow. Yeah, really mouth puckering, tart, sour, fruity character up front. In most gozas, to me, it comes off as lemon-like, but in this one, as you would expect, it comes off like sour cherries, tart cherries. Middle of the mouth, a little bit of a sweetness comes out to pull back that sour tart character just a little bit. I get a really big cherry fruit character, like it kind of tastes like biting into a fresh cherry. Some of that wheat bread character, too. There's a little bit of a spiciness to this one from the coriander, I'm assuming. And some of that salty flavor on the tongue. A little bit of a soda-like carbonation to this one. Very light in body and very drying in the finish, too. Tartness lingers all the way throughout, through the finish, and you get that tart cherry flavor sticking around on the tongue. Really light, refreshing, drinkable beer. So for my final thoughts on the Kirsch Goza, I'm going to give this one an A-. It might not be the most complex, mind-blowing beer out there, but it serves its purpose. It's really refreshing, really drinkable, and it would be very enjoyable on a hot summer's day, on a hot spring day. I could have a couple of these and be very satisfied. I love what the cherry character brings to this beer. I love what it adds to a goza. Definitely makes it stand out from a lot of the other gozas out there. So if you can get your hands on a bottle of this and you love fruit beers, sour beers, if you love gozas, you have to check this one out. Have you guys been able to get your hands on this? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other channel, Everyday Aficionados. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. This beer goes a down easy. <laughs>